Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanted to relaunch the series called Tweak of the Day, where I show you guys an awesome tweak that was just recently released. Now, these videos won't be coming every single day, but if there happens to be a tweak release that I feel deserves an entire video dedicated to itself as it's just that good, that is what this series will be used for. Anyhow, today we are talking about Lend My Phone 2, which allows you to set up multiple users and a guest mode on your iPhone. So that is what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to demo this tweak and show you guys how to set it up. But before we start, don't forget to like comment and subscribe. The tweak name and the source will be down below in this video's description. And lastly, for my A12 users out there with the iPhone 10s Max, 10R, or just 10s, or the 2018 iPad Pros with the A12X chip, not to fear, support is eventually going to be coming for your devices. But if you guys want an awesome resource to stay updated on the latest news pertaining to this, definitely bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page so you guys can be notified the second the jailbreak utility is updated for your devices. All right, guys, so this is Lend My Phone 2. This is what the tweak looks like within Cydia, and it has an awesome description. Now, essentially, it will let you create a guest mode for other users on your iPhone. You can even create multiple accounts and limit either apps, control center, icon editing, multitasking, notification center, spotlight access, and more. So right now I'm in my main user account. As you guys can see, I have access to everything. I can access the control center, I can pull down on spotlight, everything works as intended. Well, if I lock my device, go to my passcode screen, my default passcode is just zeros all the way across. And that gives me access to my main user account. Well, the awesome thing about this tweak is you can create multiple user accounts and they don't even know it's happening. Well, let's say I wanna give my phone to my girlfriend. Well, instead of telling her that my passcode is zeros all the way across, I could tell her it is ones all the way across. She can enter that. And now, as you guys can see, there's an entirely different icon layout and multiple apps are hidden and restricted. There's no more access to the control center or the notification center or spotlight. Even when you go to access the multitasking pane, it just automatically closes before you can get access to it. Now within the widgets pane, if there's an app within the Surrey suggestions, which is blocked, it just will not even open it. So as an example, I have blocked Cydia and as you guys can see, Cydia will just no longer open, but I have granted access to the settings app. The settings app does open perfectly fine. Now really the only drawback that I've found is if say you go into the phone app or messages or something like that, unfortunately it's not an entirely separate user as it still has access to all of my contacts, all of my recent calls, all of my recent voicemails and everything like that. And I'm sure that is the same across all of the apps. If I go into my Evernote, for example, it loads my Evernote account. It doesn't actually create a separate user for any of these applications. But as you guys can see, you can block applications and other elements such as the control center, the ability to edit icons. Granted, I have allowed access to that on this account but it is really useful because I have one for my girlfriend. I can type in twos all the way across. And here I have the account set up for friends and it basically just gives me access to the phone, the weather app and the settings app up in the top left. And as you guys may have picked up, this works super quickly. I can immediately go back into a different user like my actual account to have full access to my entire phone. So that's just a gist of exactly what this tweak can do. It's super complex, it's super interesting, and for that reason, I really wanted to make a separate video on this showing you guys Lend My Phone 2. Well, let's go ahead and pop open the settings app. As you guys can see, I've created a few users right here, but you can actually just create a guest mode if that is what you want. You can click add user right there. For the account name, you can just put it as guest. You can actually have different images here at the top. Granted, they don't show up anywhere else, but here is where you create a passcode. And I'll just do threes across for this one, confirm my passcode, and that has created the guest user. I guess you have to click create user right down here at the bottom. But now I have a third user on my phone. I guess this is a fourth considering I have my root user access. 
So if I click on guest, you can select which apps you want to enable or disable. You can select all right here to disable all of the apps. Go back to edit user, and then down below you have a few more options as well. You can disable killing apps in the multitasking pane. You can disable control center, changing icon layout, multitasking switcher, notification center, and even spotlight just like that. And you don't even have to respring. You can immediately just go back to your passcode screen, enter the guest user passcode. And as you guys can see, my phone is completely locked down here. And then just to get back to my actual user account, I can go back in and enter my actual passcode. It's that simple. Now, like I was saying earlier, there are a few drawbacks with this tweak. Number one being that there's not separate user accounts for all of the apps included. And then secondly, on devices with either Touch ID or Face ID, unfortunately, there isn't a way to add a second face or to add a second fingerprint to access these guest modes. It's all reliant right now on the passcode entered. So pretty much you have to disable face ID, otherwise it will recognize your face and take you into your actual account. Granted, I guess that would work if you handed your phone off to your friends, it wouldn't recognize their face. They would be forced to enter a passcode which you would give them. But in any case, guys, that is Lend My Phone 2 pretty much brings a guest mode to your phone. I think it's absolutely incredible that you can create multiple users as well, one for your girlfriend, one for your friends, and one entirely for guest mode. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked it, definitely hit that subscribe button, give this video a huge thumbs up, and leave a comment down below as to what you think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. We have some more awesome content coming this week, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.